Looking for cheap Madden 20 coins? Head on over to goldenmuckcoins.com for the cheapest muck coins online and use code MPG for 30% off your order. Link is in the description. What's up today, my fellow Madden soldiers? So what I'll be breaking down for you guys right now is who are my favorite players when it comes to Madden? Well, I'm actually going to do offensive players right now, and then I'm going to do another video later on on my favorite defensive players in Madden. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right. So this is my squad right here. I got a 98 squad. If you see that, you know, my center still like he's a 95 actually, but he's blue Kim to a 96. So what I usually do is I usually wait until they actually release players that I want or like. And I just save up my coins for that. So I don't have to constantly get players and get rid of them. So if you guys are wondering about that real quick, that's what I actually like to do. So anyways, so what I'm going to start off with right now will be Peyton Manning. And I'm going to break to you guys uh, down on why he is my favorite player or my favorite QB in the game right now. I know a lot of people, they have their di different opinions. Like, this is my favorite. Like I said, whatever is your favorite player to you, there's a reason for it. It works real well for you. To me, it's Peyton Manning. And you guys know that because once when I had him before and I got rid of him, you guys know that I only got rid of him because this reason right here. Watch it. Let, let, me, let me back out. I'm going to show you right now why I got rid of Peyton Manning the first time. Not because he was a bad player, because even when I got rid of him, I even told you guys that he's the best QB in game and he's pretty glitchy. But this is why. Because I got three QBs and they're all Dallas Cowboys. And I was happy with that. Like, I finally got all the Cowboy QBs that I wanted. And so, I didn't really have no use for Peyton Manning no more. I just didn't want to have him there. But then when he got his updated car, with the, which he makes him a 99 gold. And I was like, you know what? Payne Manny is my favorite QB in Madden. And yeah, I need to go hurry up and go get him back. So I did. I paid a pretty penny. I mean, he didn't go for that much. He was a limited, but he didn't go for that much. But still, though, I still played quite a few coins when I didn't have to. That's what I'm trying to say is because I already had a lot of QBs and I was all right with them. But like I said, though, I really want to enjoy the game. So anyways, I got Payne Manning and that's why. So just to let you guys know that this is my favorite player QB um, when it comes to Madden. But anyways, this is the reason why. Because he gets Omaha 100. And this Omaha 100 for the first five plays, you're going to see where the defensive backs are and what coverage they're playing in. So if they're blitzing, you're going to know it. If they're playing flats, you're going to know it. You're going to know exactly where they are so you can throw the ball. And this sometimes will determine whether someone rage quits or not. Because this will help you sometimes do a one-play touchdown. It'll, it'll, it'll help you make you decide on... How to change up your play, plays on the line of scrimmage if you have to. And actually make someone rage quit. Not all the time, but it does that time. So it's successful. I enjoy it. And I love having this Omaha 100. No other player gets it. I don't even know if they even get this ability, the, any other players. I mean, this uh, X Factor. But even if they did, it's not... Um, automatically activated as soon as the game starts like Peyton Manning's card is Peyton Manning's card automatically it's it's activated in the beginning of the game and that's why I like it and to me this alone is what makes him the best player but if you look at his other actual actual abilities I'm gonna go ahead and break down to you his other ones he gets identified so you know where his, the, the, your opponent is at all times so I like that it's an extra, extra ability that helps me out he gets hot route master on top of that which is four additional hot routes right so this is what it is because he gets hot rod master i don't I have to put any abilities on my wide receivers i'm able to control him through um peyton manning he's able to direct them wherever he there wherever that he needs them to go and the hot routes that he gets are pretty much very effective you get four additional hot routes and um madden 19 you only got two additional hot routes when it comes to certain plays on the actual wide receivers all right so he gets four additional hot routes which i really enjoy um, then he gets conductor, so you're able to do faster adjustments before you go to the line of scrimmage or, you know, while you're on the line of scrimmage, it's, it, it makes it um, real effective. Then he gets gunslinger, faster throwing animations and velocity on bullet passes. So the reason I got gunslinger, I have not used it yet, is because a lot of you guys are telling me to get it. So I got it. I'm going to test it out. So right now, this video is based on these other abilities I just named right now. Gunslinger, you guys are saying it. So if you guys are saying it, then that, that just makes them even better if you think that this is actually a good ability. Okay. So of course, he's a coat. I mean, the coat, coat and he's also a... A Denver Bronco so anyways so this is my favorite QB in the game 
and I really enjoy him. I also like Troy Aikman. Troy Aikman's my second favorite QB. I like Troy Aikman as a player too, but I'm talking about just in games. I'm, not, I'm talking about just in Madden. Um, out of Payne Manning and Troy Aikman, Troy Aikman is the best in game. I mean, Troy Aikman and Payne Manning is the best in game. And what differentiates, uh, H-E, uh, I can't even pronounce that word right now. What separates these guys uh, too is because it's Omaha 100. That's what separates them too. If, like I said, if Troy Aikman got Omaha 100, Troy Aikman will no doubt be the best player in Madden, in my opinion. But because he don't, it makes Peyton Manning. And that just, I'm just being honest. In my opinion, that's what I'm being honest about. All right. So that's what makes him my favorite player when it comes to Madden and as a QB. The other player will be Emma Smith. And no, not just because he's a Cowboys. You could tell my favorite QB is Peyton Manning. So, you know, I'm not being biased right here. I'm like being straight up. Um, the reason what makes Emmitt Smith, I'm happy that he is a cowboy, is the fact that no, he gets protective custody. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. He gets protective custody 100. Okay, I was thinking that it was another uh, halfback I was about to show you guys right now. And the reason why is because it's activated as soon as you play in game. And not just that. You, it, it, this cannot go. You see, on uh, Peyton Manning's, after five plays, it goes away, the Omaha 100. The protective custody 100 on Emmitt Smith does not go away. All right, unless you get sacked. A loss, I'm not sorry, sacked. Unless you get a loss for yardage. If they sack you for a loss of yardage, um, yeah, if they, if, they, if they tackle you for a loss of yardage, the Omaha 100, I mean, the protective custody 100 goes away. But as long as they don't sack, uh, uh, you get it to you as long as you don't get a tackle for a loss you'll have this the whole game and you cannot fumble it no matter how hard you could get they can hit you so hard that you feel like your legs broke but you ain't gonna fumble the ball like you will not fumble that ball and so that's what i enjoy about uh emmett smith is he can't fumble that ball it's gonna be up to you to make sure you don't get a uh sack i mean a tackle for a loss but besides that he can't fumble the ball man i really enjoy this card right he could put it he even gets a uh, return man put him out return man and you know a lot of the times I'll, I'll some of your return man and fumble the ball he can't he gets protective custody so that's what i like about this card right here and then on top of that he gets evasive so not only does he get protective custody one he gets evasive so he gets faster animation when it comes to spinning juke moves which you guys already know what that is you know it makes you much more effective when you're out there um spinning and juking so then he gets return man, leap frog, and grab goal. I'm already out tri tripping on these other abilities to tell you the truth, but really he gets evasive as well as protective custody. To me, the, them two, this X factor and this ability make to me makes him the best halfback in the game, and to, and makes him my favorite player. Okay, when it comes to a halfback, I do have another halfback who's my favorite card, so I will name him off right now. Which you guys know, if you guys remember a while back that I added him to the squad, which is Bo Jackson. And what makes this car so good, honestly? So you see that I actually have abilities and X Factor on him, but just check this out. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real honest with you. He's not even activated in game. Okay, so even with, I just have it on him. If I ever do want to get activated, I put him on him. But without these uh, X Factors, without these abilities, he still is a glitchy card. I have to take off this brawler. I don't need it on him. I'm, I got to put on Sprinter because. He needs an acceleration. I, I, apparently, I almost forgot. But anyways, the thing is, is that you don't even have to have a, a abilities or X factors on him, and this guy is still glitchy. If you do have X factors abilities on him, it just makes him that much better. But I'm telling you right now, he's always breaking tackles. He's always making plays that man, like wow, this guy is actually making a great play. And and, and the reason I say that is because I had him one time without when his card first came out. I only had him up to an 89 overall. I didn't even have his full card. And this guy was making plays that I can't even believe. I was like, man, he's just actually making that play right now. Breaking this sack, making these touchdowns. And he was my number one starter for a while as an 89 overall. He wasn't even the full version. So when his card actually got upgraded, um, I got him. And uh, I got rid of him one time. I shouldn't have those no reason for it, like I said, because he's my favorite card and I ended up getting him back. But like I said, sometimes I'll get rid of cards if I need it at the time because I need coins or or training whatever the case may be because there's actually more upgraded cards at the time so that's usually why i would but i had to get him back because i know he's about to get another upgrade i'm assuming in my mind he's about to get an upgrade even if he got a golden ticket i still feel that he'll get an ultimate legend so i was happy to have him so i don't need one more player off when it comes to the offense and that would be michael irvin and the reason why i say michael irvin and i don't even have no abilities or anything on him right if you have abilities on him, that just probably makes him that much better. Um, but I don't have to have abilities on him because Peyton Manning has Hot Route Master, which directs all his all, any route that I want him to go on. So I like I, 
I don't need that. But the, what makes him real glitchy is the fact that, or, or what makes him the best player for me, I'll say, is when I actually got his 82 version of, <clears throat> excuse me, of the card. When it came, when you when you pre-order the game from GameStop, they give you a code and you're able to get the triplets for free. Which you got Michael Irvin, Troy Aikman, and, and uh, Emmitt Smith. While this card in game, even as the 82 overall, was making some amazing catches. So once he got his upgraded version of his card, which was his, I think, I don't know if it was his legend or I forgot what. what Oh, it was a Harvest Master. There you go. I didn't even have to click off. It was a har Harvest, uh, yeah, Harvest Master. So when he got that card, that just made him much more better when it comes to the catching stats and his abilities and so forth. But like I said, I'm not showing no stats or anything like that because that's irrelevant. I'm just sharing with you guys why they why they are the best players for me. You know, like that's what it comes down to. Even if the stats are not, I mean, his stats are pretty good. But even if the stats aren't that amazing, the whole thing is is that these cards are great for me because of what they actually show me in game. So that's what I I. I I want to share with you guys just because if you guys are curious and like, hey, who's your best cards and why and so forth, even if even if they have good stats or even if they don't have good stats, I'm going to show you with because I've been using these cards all year round. It may not be the upgraded version of them, but it has he been some type of version of their card? And I'm telling you right now, or at least how they're using their cards for a while. And so I'm able to say this right now that this is the reason why these cards are the best cards to me be, and the reason why they're still on my team because of the fact that they actually make some amazing plays out there and I actually was able to see them in game for quite a while make some good catches so they stood on my team. So anyways, um, the next one I'm going to do is my the best defensive players that I feel that the, the, the um, who I like and why why I like them. Even if they're not on my team, I'm gonna actually show you who my best defensive players are. And even if, uh, like I said, even if they're not on my team, and the reason why they might not be on my team because I don't feel they have they didn't give them a good upgrade or whatever the case may be. Whatever it is, I will break it down to you at that time and then. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it right here. These are the best offensive players that I like on my squad. They do they do me well. They do my team well. And if you like what you see, please drop a like if you have any subs, subs to the channel. And please put in the comment section who your best offensive players are that you have on your team and why. Thank you very much for tuning in. You guys all have a nice day.